I'm Steve with Big Frontier. We just had a great presentation by Paul Gillen, author of Social Marketing for Business Customer. And Paul discussed a lot of issues that are important to B2B marketers in terms of utilizing the social networks, which have been primarily focused on B2C marketing. And Paul, could you give us a couple of the highlights of today's presentation? B2B marketers are, I think, are just as active in social networks as B2C marketers. It's just that it tends to be under the radar because they're targeting much smaller, uh, much more specific groups. So the earliest uh, adopters of social networks and of social tools like blogs were actually B2B companies. You know, Microsoft and IBM and Cisco were out there before anybody else. Uh, so they have blazed the trails, but they haven't really achieved the big audience that gets them the, uh, you know, the kind of media visibility. But uh, my point is that uh, B2B marketers have, are, are every bit as, uh, as active in using these tools as B2C, but they tend Just to- Just not do, getting any respect. They, they, they get, they don't, they don't have a lot the limelight. Now, Paul, what, 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 what would you think would be the two biggest success stories in B2B marketing in terms of social networks? It'd be, well, in terms of a network itself? In terms of companies utilizing, B2B companies utilizing social networks, biggest success story. I think Cisco does a phenomenal job. I mean, across all of their different properties, across Facebook, LinkedIn, their, their blog network, uh, their multiple Twitter accounts, they have uh, games that are oriented toward bringing engineers into the, uh, you know, into the, the networking field. Uh, they have really just spread themselves across every possible uh, platform, and I think they do it very well. Um, another company that I think does this very well is Microsoft, in terms of using different platforms. Microsoft has thousands of employee bloggers. They have uh, the Channel 9 video site, which has thousands of videos that, create, that show, uh, that delve into Microsoft, uh, different aspects of Microsoft's business. And they use social as sort of part and parcel of how they, of how they support their customers. Um, in trying to think of somebody outside of the tech industry, um, you know, one that I really like is the um, is uh, the uh, uh, CME group, the former Chicago Mercantile Exchange, which has a Twitter following of nearly 800,000 members, 800,000 followers, and which has uh, is also spread across multiple channels. And essentially, they're becoming a source of financial information. Uh, they're filling a gap that uh, for information about uh, the commodities business that really was not being met. And they are enhancing their brand to be actually a news source as well as a as a, a platform for commerce. Books available on Amazon, pgillen.com, correct? Uh, gillen.com. Gillen.com. P, P. Gillen on Twitter. P. Gillen on Twitter, gillen.com. Send Paul your questions. He'd be more than happy to answer them. Thank you very much.